Hello everyone. Welcome to our Introduction to Arcade Expressions demonstration video. My name is Wayne Cheung. I'm a professor of Geography and GIS at Palomar College, and I'm also an assistant director with the Geotech Center. In this video, you'll learn how to create a new field of arcade expressions, customize pop-ups and labels in ArcGIS Pro, and also publish a web layer to ArcGIS Online that includes an arcade expression. If you want to follow along with what I'm doing in the demonstration video, please download and unzip the data file at this web address before continuing. To provide some context, in this demonstration video, we'll be working with some COVID-19 case data provided by the County of San Diego Health and Human Services Agencies. In particular, if you look at the graphic here on the right, you'll notice that the data that is provided includes zip codes, the count, which is the case count of COVID recorded at each of these zip codes, and then also a rate per 100,000 people. But it does not include what is the population in each of these zip codes. And that is why for well, the first part of this demonstration video, I'll show you how we can work backwards given the case count information and the rate information to allow us to calculate the population. As you can see here, when we divide the count by the population multiplied by 100,000, that is how we get the rate. And so if we need to calculate what is the population for each zip code, we basically just need to work backwards, as I've mentioned before, by using the case count multiplied by 100,000 and divide it by the rate. So let's get started. As you can see on my screen, I've already started ArcGIS Pro and I've created a new project called Arcade Demo. What we're going to do now is add in the data file that we need. And again, as I've mentioned before, if you want to follow along, please download the data from the link that I went over previously in this video and unzip that data file. And now inside that unzipped file, you should be able to see here's our geo database. And here is the feature class that we need that is showing us the zip codes in San Diego County and included in this layer, if we look at this attribute table, you can see basically that case count information and the rate information that I went over previously in this video. As I mentioned before, we're going to try to work backwards so that we can create a field that tell us the population in each of the zip codes. To do that, right click on the name of the layer and select configure pop-ups. Here in our configure pop-ups window, you'll notice that there is an expression button. We'll click on that and say we want to create a new expression. And so I'm going to rename this expression population. And I'll enter the formula that I previously showed you in the last slide. And that is based on the cases or the case count. Multiply that by 100,000 and then divide that by the rate and then click OK. And now you can see we have created a new expression called population. And when we go back here, you can see now this new expression that we just created is one of the fields that we can use for labeling or for creating charts in the pop-up. In this part of the video, I'll show you how we can customize the messages in our pop-ups and also our featured labels in ArcGIS Pro that make use of the new field that we just created using Arcade Expression. Now back in ArcGIS Pro, you can see here's still our configure pop-up windows. I can click on text here to customize the message that shows up when someone click on a map feature. To do that, let's click on this edit icon. And here I'll enter the message that I want to show. In particular, I want to say the population in the zip code
of, and here I'll enter the field that it's going to get the value from in this paragraph. So it's going to insert the value from the zip field into this part of the paragraph is, and again, under this dropdown, I'm now going to select the custom expression that we just built. It recorded. cases being the case count of COVID on September 28, 2021. The case rate of and here is going to get the value from the rate field per 100,000 people. All right, so as soon as you're done typing that and checking um, the message that you typed in here, we can click on the back arrow. And you can see here's a new message that we just entered into this configure pop-up window. Now, just to see what it looks like in our map, we can click on any of the feature in our map. And you can see Here's the message. Notice that some of them, some of the zip codes may have reported null uh, for their case rates due to insufficient data. So as you can see here, we have the zip code that's automatically entered into the message as well as the population number, as well as the case count and also the rate information. Now, you may notice that our population number, right, since it was calculated based on case count and rate, may have this decimal figure. And since we cannot have fractions of a person, we're going to round this figure in the next step. To do this, we'll go back and modify our original population expression. As you can see, here is that population expression that we previously created. So click on the pencil here. And here we'll use one of the many functions that is available to achieve different goals that you may have. And I highly encourage you to look at the ESRI documentation to see what other types of functions are available. In particular, this one that I'm using here will allow us to round the value that is calculated with this equation here. So everything that is inside of the parentheses, right, is our equation. And this function will round whatever is calculated from that equation. We can click on the check mark to make sure that we have entered a valid expression and click OK. And click on our back arrow. And let's close this pop up and try it again. Now you notice instead of having fractions of a person, you'll see that it has been rounded. In the next few steps, I'll show you how we can insert a chart into this pop-up window, as well as get rid of some of these other attribute information that we no longer need since it is already in this message that we customized earlier. So let's close this pop-up window and in the configure pop-up window, click on charts and then click on our edit button. And we're going to create a pie chart and we'll give it a title of percentage of zip code population with COVID. And here, that pie chart is going to get its values from cases, right? Those are the number of people with COVID. And then also this population expression that we created earlier, which is the total number of people in each zip code. Now click on the back arrow and you can see 
there's our pie chart. Now to see that in our pop-up, let's click on any of the features here. And you can see now we have our pie chart in our pop-up that is created based on the case's values and also the custom expression that we created earlier. As I've said before, we still have a lot of this redundant attribute values in this pop-up. To get rid of that, simply click on the X next to this field row here in our configure pop-ups window. And now if we click on any of the features in our map, you can see we get a message that only shows us the paragraph that we entered in earlier, as well as our pie chart. Now that we've finished configuring our pop-up window, let's close our pop-up and also close the configure pop-ups window. We'll move on to configuring the labels that will be used to label each of the features in our map. So go to labeling and here you can see our label icon and it also give us the option of using arcade expression to configure or customize our labels. So click on that and here under expression, it give us a lot of flexibility as to what message do we want to display as the labels for each of our map features. So I'm going to delete what is in here. And I'm going to say, I want to show the name of each of the community represented by the zip codes, as well as the zip code itself. So here under expression, double click on community and put in the plus sign and then single quote space parentheses zip colon space and single quote. So everything in single quote is basically a custom text that you want to add into the message. And then plus sign and add in the value that comes from the zip attribute and then plus sign and the custom text of close parentheses and single quotes. Let's click on the check mark to make sure it's valid. Okay. So now hit apply and click on the label icon to enable labeling. And here you can see the name of each of the community as well as its zip code in parentheses as we have laid out in this expression. Now that we have finished customizing the pop-ups and labels and created our new field using Arcade Expression, I want to show you that we can easily publish our layer to ArcGIS Online and all the properties that we customize will be honored in ArcGIS Online. So back in ArcGIS Pro, let's close our label class window and we'll just do a very simple customization of our symbology by clicking on symbology here and coloring our zip codes based on graduated colors, based on the case count here. So we have a visualization that looks like this. And again, if we click on any of the polygon, it'll show us that pop-up that we created earlier. To publish this to ArcGIS Online, right-click on the name of the layer, go to sharing, and go to share as web layer. Here, you'll enter a name, summary, and tags for your layer. And when you're done doing that, click Analyze. And you can ignore this warning about it not having a feature template and click Publish. Once that is done, click on Manage the Web Layer. And in your web browser, you should see the item description page for the web layer that you just published. We can add it to a new map. And you can see the custom labels that we created, as well as the pie chart 
as well as the custom pop-up information now in your web layer in ArcGIS Online. As a matter of fact, if you click on the name of the layer in your web browser and go to configure pop-up in the map viewer, you can see that our arcade expression that we created earlier called population is now there, as well as the custom pie chart that we created is also in here. I hope that you found this demonstration video helpful. To see additional demonstration video and other curriculum resources, please visit us at the Geotech Center website. Thank you very much.